Hi Scorpio, welcome to How Love Tarot. This is a general reading for April 2024. I've already pulled the first layer of your oracle. I'm now pulling the next layer. Uh, then I will pull, uh, go more in depth with the tarot cards. Spirit may please have the present position for Scorpio. Thank you. May I please have the um, strength for Scorpio? Wow, there we go. May I please have the um, challenge for Scorpio? Wow. Um, may I please have the, uh, what's good in the outcome? What's good in the outcome for Scorpio? What's good in the outcome? Thank you, Spirit. Wow. Okay. All right. May I please have the tarot for Scorpio? Please give me the detailed information to get further into the reading. What will validate this reading for Scorpio? What will help them? What will motivate them? What will inspire them? What will help them to understand where they are and what they need to do? May I please have the present position for Scorpio? No, they said no. That's not the card. May I please have the present position? There we go. Okay, this is interesting. May I please have the strength for... Did I call you Leo? I'm so sorry if I called you Leo. I just did a Leo reading. I, I know you're Scorpio. Uh, Spirit, may I please have the... Um, strength for Scorpio. May I please have the challenge for Scorpio? May I please have what's good in the outcome for Scorpio? Spirit, may I please have the final layer of the tarot? Please go into greater detail. What will help Scorpio? What will motivate, inspire them, give them the clarity that they need in the decisions that they're making? What will help to uplift their spirit? May I please have the present position for Scorpio? Thank you. You, okay, may I please have the um, strength for Scorpio? Thank you. May I please have what's uh, the challenge for Scorpio? Please have what's good in the outcome for Scorpio. Okay, can we do that again, Spirit? There's just too many cards. Can we have what's good in the outcome? Thank you. All right, let's take a look, Scorpio. Here is your present position. We have fertility. We have the bone collector we have the high priestess we have the six of pentacles we have the lovers in reverse spirit may I please have the present position for scorpio what will validate this reading for scorpio what will help them to understand that this is their reading what is going on with scorpio currently um, so first of all, we have fertility. Um, there are new situations all around you um, that are extremely powerful in your life. So there is 
um, new beginnings, absolute new beginnings is what Spirit said. And so it feels like there is a um, enrichment um, in your life that is happening. Uh, let all take root, seed and sprout. Let new life be all about. So you're very invested in something that is taking place that's brand new uh, for you um, in a way. And it could be... Uh, Okay, I'm getting some some of the stuff from the other <laughs> from the other part of the reading, so I'll get to that in a minute. Um, Spirit, why the bone collector? You're very happy, um, Scorpio. You're very, very, very happy with something that is happening um, in a situation in your life, and it is um, something that you have worked on. It's something that you've spent time a long 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 time um wishing waiting wanting and now it's here there is a lot of happiness here and you are there's a there's a sense of um oh god um there's a sense of you know the past and all that it um Spirit has shown it to me, but I don't know how to say it. Spirit, give it to me in words. Um, Spirit is showing me that ghosts, ghosts from the past, that's what they said, okay? So ghosts from the past um, at some point were really dominating your life, like it was a ghost. And now um, it's behind you and it's it's almost like we have this incredible new situation in your life that's creating a lot of empowerment enlightenment but i'll get more into that in a minute because there's some there's a flip side to this here we have the high priestess and we have the six of pentacles so spirit bring it forward what's going on here with the high priestess you are meditating turning inward some of you it's prayer to discover your soul's true desire i hear this statement what's next um what's next scorpio you may be saying this to yourself this is not the time for action um is how it feels like you're very cautious in everything that you're doing so your intuition is leading you and you're trusting the wisdom that you receive I feel a lot of prayer around you. I feel like you're really deeply going inward spiritually to help you navigate what's going on in your life currently. Here in the Six of Pentacles, we have this um, kind of feeling of the good that you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow of abundance, bor borrowing wisely, or paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. So there's a situation here um, where you're giving maybe money, could be time, could be energy, it could be just support, but there's um, somebody around you not well that's showing up with a person in the wheelchair, right? So it could be... Um, and you're you're the one giving right so here we have the person receiving so it could be somebody that is in ill health or it could be somebody that's actually in a wheelchair could be more than one person right so um and they're very appreciative of your um what you are giving there's a lot of happiness here there's a lot of peace and happiness here scorpio However, we've got the lovers in reverse, right? So here is where we have, like internally with you, there's a disharmony, an imbalance. Um, you're confused about some values. Um, the, the healing that's taking place is not what you expected. Uh, you're kind of detached from a situation. And there's an internal conflict here. Um, there's bad choices, indecision, fear of commitment. Interesting. So there's a lot of fear that's going on inside of you internally. 
Okay, so that's your present position. If that didn't make sense, please stop the reading here. This is not your reading. Or put it in a playlist, come back to it in two weeks to three weeks and watch it then. If at that point, this present position that I just went through doesn't make sense to you, this is absolutely not your reading. Please go ahead and turn off the video. Now, for those of you that can relate to what I just said, this is your reading. Let's continue. So here I have in the challenge position. Now, you don't need to avoid the challenges in your life. They are automatic. They come to you daily, right? Whether that be stuck in traffic or um, a check getting lost in the mail or whatever, right? Whatever drama comes up it is what it is. And there's no avoiding it. Um, and it's I bring it up in the reading to help you to understand in the strength how to deal with those challenges so what we have in the challenge is safe travels we have goblins we have release and then we have the four of pentacles in the reverse spirit bring it forward what's happening with scorpio in the challenge so um you're allowing somebody to go is what it feels like safe travels you're allowing somebody to go leave you um and it is an emotional thing for you i do feel like you are not uh, disclosing how you feel about something and so there's conflict there's fear there's pain here there's there's you're very conflicted about whoever this is that is um, traveling, talking about traveling, being somewhere else, something like that. Something like that is going on. It's coming up here. And so here in the challenge, you're trying to release um, what you're feeling. And, under, you know, you're trying to refocus your energy and not worry about it. But you are worrying. Here, what we have in the Four of Pentacles in the reverse is this... Um, need to protect like either that situation that person those people or yourself in the situation so let's take a look at the strength and how to handle all of that we have healing right we have healing we have one ring circus we have the king of cups we have the justice card we have the nine of cups and we have the knight of cups Spirit, bring it forward. What does Scorpio need to know? How do they handle the challenges that are coming forward for them at this time? Tell me the information. Here in the healing card, what we have here, Scorpio, is in the strength. We have you um, doing a lot of internal healing. It's almost like it's happening automatically. And um, trusting, Spirit just said, trusting that the situation has healed and is in the process of healing. So understanding and having faith, Spirit just said, that this is real. <laughs> I don't know why they said that, but this is real. And, um, and so what we have here is a one ring circus and the strength, right? You've always been extremely strong and it, you've always kind of felt like you're doing things on your own. And so you do have the power, the capacity to continue and harmonize with what's going on because you this is what you're good at um not by choice but by situation and here we have the king of cups and again we've got if you look here we've got the the sailboat right here and we have it here coming up in your reading again right so what what that means is it's kind of confirmation right the more something shows up in the reading the stronger it is <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that card. It won't stay. Hold on. I'm having technical difficulties, Scorpio. All right. So, um, spirit break forward in the strength. You're, th there's so much love here in your heart. Um, there is, you want prosperity for whoever it is that you're thinking about. You want them to do well. It will mean them going away from you. And so what we have here is um, a love, an abundant love for somebody and your emotions coming under control about the whole situation. 
um, you trust them, you know that they're honorable, they're very devoted in what they're doing, they're very cautious, um, you know that you can completely trust them. And one of the reasons why you know this is because of the, um, it, Spirit shows me the path that they, they have walked upon, right? So the path of their lives. So for example, Scorpio, um, you know that you, what you're looking at is, I don't know, if you've known somebody for 40 years and they've been in and out of prison and they've been, you know, doing drugs and they're an alcoholic and things like that, you basically know who that person is, right? Just by observation. And, but if you have a person that is, let's say, never gone to jail, gone to school, done different things in their lives, had great accomplishments in their life, you know, the kind of person that you're dealing with, you know, you're dealing with somebody with integrity. And so you're understanding and having trust in getting to know them better. Um, you are still afraid, there are still fear there, but it's well-intentioned emotions there is a charitable benefactor in this person's life and um seeing a counselor that they, they may be seeking something here i don't know what that is justice um you're trying to be fair fair in a situation and this is coming out in your strength so you're trying to be very impartial and objective but stay engaged you're trying to stand up for what you believe in and you're trying to see all sides of a situation. You will win if your position is one of integrity and not one of manipulation for your own needs, right? So doing what's best for the other person seems to be the right thing to do. And it shows here in the King of Cups, that's what you are doing. Next, what we have here is the Nine of Cups, right? So wish come true in the strength wishes come true, your dreams become a reality, a magical time in your life, good fortune, faith in the universe that all will be well, okay, so that is showing up, and then we have the Knight of Cups, there's an overwhelming love here in your energy, Scorpio, creativity, um, charm, imagination, beauty, a lot of laughter, I see you laughing a lot, so, um, you know, kind of coming in a rescuing kind of situation, and coming in to rescue, uh, someone or ready to rescue is what spirit tells me so there's um you're looking at a situation where somebody you're thinking about somebody getting married it's not you anyway i don't know why that's showing up in your reading but it is here we have um the outcome letting go this is what's good in the outcome mountain we have the Seven of Pentacles and we have the King of Cups again. So King of Cups showed twice up in your reading, just like that boat showed up twice in your reading. So that's very important. Spirit, tell me what's good in the outcome for Scorpio. What do they not see coming? What can they expect? What can they hope for? And what can they um, count on to help them in the outcome? What's good in the outcome? You're letting go of the past you're allowing the wisdom to remain but the sting i shall never feel again so it feels like this uh something that has come to an end from the past and you're very very um what's the word you're very there's communication here right so there's communication here in the outcome um and again oh my god okay Scorpio, let me show you something we have in numerology, we have six here. Sorry, I got my nails. We have six here and we have six here, right there in the reading, right here. And then we have six here again, right? The more something shows up in the reading, the more intense it is in your life. And so what we have here is, you know, six represents the past um, and history and all of that. And so it's been um spirit bring it forward what's good in the outcome why is this coming forward here in the outcome you're letting go of something really 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 monumental and it's been such a um it's like taking up all of your energy in your life it feels like and here in the seven of pentacles you are nurturing something new 
you're planting seeds and your efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future. The need for patience is really important and it's a time of resting and planning for the future. But there is some unnecessary worry here. So kind of try and keep that under control. Um, Scorpio, and once again, we have the King of Cups again, right? So it showed up in your strength and it's showing up in your outcome. Again, a beautiful energy to end your reading. We have you emotionally balanced, compassionate, diplomatic, under control, balanced, supportive leader, tolerant and empathetic. And in turn, this brings a lot your way. So a lot of things and a lot of doors begin to open. And so there's a bit of a waiting period. So be patient. Spirit said to be patient. And then things start to flow in the way that you never really understood or thought that they would. There's a lot of love here in the outcome. Scorpio, so you can expect that in all different ways. There is a relationship here, many relationships actually that are coming into play that are offered up for healing. So that is very strong in your energy. Scorpio, um, for those of you that follow my channel, I have been um, out of YouTube for several months due to illness. And so my channel doesn't show up anymore. And if you are interested in getting notified when my next reading is available for you, it is really important that you engage with the channel. So you subscribe, hit the notification bell and hit a thumbs up if the reading resonated with you, the like button. And also, if you can just make a comment um, and just put Scorpio or something in the comment, that will allow the algorithm of YouTube to put the channel back on the map. So when I do do a new reading for you, it comes up and you can be notified. So if you enjoy these readings, please do that so you can get the reading. Scorpio, everything's going to be fine. You take care and I will speak to you soon.